Hey guys and girls, welcome back to yet another beautiful video on the beautiful channel. It's a beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Part four of collision detection. Now this is just an extra video. I showed you basically how this works, but I just want to show you guys in this final one uh, because I, I miss you and I don't want to leave you right now. And I don't want to stop talking about collision. Okay, so that's why I'm making this video. Anyway, this is the bare minimum. This is the gist of it. Uh, you're going to have to fix this with walls. You're going to have to not go through walls that aren't close to the player. You're going to have to do all that stuff. We'll probably go through that in some game engine tutorial thing uh, sometime. Because it's really important to know. Right now I'm going through all the walls that will ever exist in the in the game. And I don't want to do that. You might have millions and hundreds, not millions, but thousands of walls. You probably just want to go through the uh, nine walls around the player. Okay, The ones directly around the player. Or even the one just the way player is going, you know, just the three in the direction. So you, you can do that. There's ways to do that, if, especially if you have a grid or, or some kind of a algorithm like, uh, uh, what do you call it? What do you call that beautiful? Quad trees and stuff. So go read about that. But before we get deep into this tutorial, check out the description box. Follow me on all that stuff if you want. Also drop a like, subscribe, uh, join us on Discord, Twitter, all that stuff. So there you go. Uh, but what I want to do in this video is I actually just want to test this algorithm out with a bunch of walls. Okay. And I'm sorry for those of you who get nauseous when I go up and down a lot. I'm going to try not to do it because I heard someone did get nauseous because of that. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. So this was the collision. Before the collision happens, before we move, before we do anything, uh, I'm going to create a add walls thing here. So if uh, mouse is button pressed mouse left and this is gonna actually mouse left I think yeah this is gonna help me add walls okay and I want to go through for auto um, I all the walls and I want to see if the wall exists already Mm, bool exists equals false. You know what? I'm just going to use a regular for loop for this. For um, walls.size. You know, we're just going to use the regular one. Um, and exists. So this is so I don't add duplicate walls. So if I add a wall at a position, I don't want to add it there again. Okay. Uh, that's basically what I'm doing. So we're going to check if walls at position I dot get position equals uh, and then the mouse grid position as well. Yeah, we're going to need that. So where do we update stuff? I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to say SF or vector 2F mouse pos view mouse position grid I'll call it I think yeah I think I'll call it grid actually mouse position grid pretty 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 sure okay so walls dot get position dot x divided by grid size all right, and I'm actually going to cast this to an integer. So we'll divide it with that and it will return an integer. Pretty sure. Um, equals mouse position grid dot X. And we'll do an and walls dot get position now don't worry we'll calculate the grid position this is basically just going to calculate the position of the mouse as a grid position so not as floats it's going to be one two three depending on how big the grid is so it's going to say in what grid is my mouse in right now divided by int grid size this isn't the best way to do it mouse plus grid dot y so if that happens exists equals true and then we'll break out of the for loop uh, otherwise 
if exists, then we'll actually add the wall. Okay, walls dot pushback wall. And then we'll set the walls position to that grid position. So the walls position is going to be mouse post grid dot x mouse post grid dot y multiply by grid size multiply by grid size so if we're in grid one okay grid one is going to be basically one multiplied by 50 or no zero is going to be zero multiplied by 50 it'll be a position zero if we're in grid one x that's going to set it this to 50 okay one multiplied by 50 and 0 multiplied by 50 is 0. So that will be 50, 0. So basically every grid position increments with 50, 50, 50 like that. Okay? So that's how that's going to work. And then we're just going to push back the wall. Okay? Basically just very simple. Just try this out. It will work. Now all we need to do is just every uh, loop here. We're going to get the mouse post grid equals mouse get position in this window relative to this window okay um, dot x divided by a integer grid size okay so that's basically basically it moist mouse mouse position grid so remember this is a kind of extra video nothing really just special it's just it shows you how to kind of get all these grid positions and stuff and how to add walls and test this collision out with a bunch of walls so there you go now we can add walls and not add duplicate walls uh, hopefully I think should be fine and then we render all the walls so let me just try this it's probably gonna crash Okay, didn't crash. Okay, cool. So now we have one wall. Now I can add a bunch of walls in a grid. See? And I can test it out with the collision engine or whatever you want to call it. So it is kind of working. You can try this out uh, by yourself. No big deal. It's still working. I can't really remove walls yet, but we can we can add that as well. Just before, I, before we leave. Okay, what the hell happened there? Okay, we're fine. So the collision is working. Play around with this. Let's increase the the speed so let's say the the speed is about 400 okay and usually you'll have an acceleration as well and stuff like that so it's gonna it's gonna be pretty cool so here you go it's all working with this uh, and then you probably have a gravity so if you have a bottom like this you'll be like boop okay and then yeah you can create walls all around and you can do stuff if I create a box within the player it will kind of push that player out hopefully yeah, I think it did. Not if it's exactly on it. Okay, that's also an, a case we gotta we gotta kind of handle. But usually you'll probably not be within the object. And that was a corner case, so it, you see it pushed it out to the side. Uh, and there you go. Pretty much working. Pretty much working. Uh, now, yeah, that's cool. So there you go. Now you can add a bunch of walls and stuff. If you want to remove a wall, we're probably gonna do remove wall and there you go so i know you guys are like this isn't about collision all that stuff man what are you doing dude you don't have to watch the rest if you don't want to i'm sorry this is just because i got ocd and i gotta create this function so you guys and girls can test and have fun with this collision detection right okay so if you want to click the right button we're going to remove so i'm just going to copy the whole thing in here and this exists thing is going to be fine so uh we're going to check if the wall exists if the wall where I click is within this thing it's gonna say exists is true so if the exists is true I'm gonna do walls dot erase walls dot begin and begin plus I plus index very simple create an index variable here index equals minus one and we're just gonna say exist is true index equals i it will save the position where we clicked 
on which one of these walls we clicked and we're going to remove that wall by calling erase. So it's going to be easy. We're, as soon as we press the right button, we're going to be able to erase this that specific wall see so you can just right click click you can erase all these walls create a bunch of walls here uh, and just erase them and then you can keep working and you can play around with the collision engine so yeah that's pretty cool isn't it so you can have your own little mini game with collision and stuff like that somewhat working collision uh, so if I show you the corner case here let's just try that before the video ends we have a few seconds uh, it's kind of hard just try to get in the corner exactly it's easier with slower velocities, but yeah, that's cool. It should it should default to be going up like this, going up to the top. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's our 10 minutes done. Pretty much done with this collision series. If I, uh, if I think of anything else, I will make another video. You probably want to set... You probably want to update the next position stuff as soon as you... As soon as you... Uh, do this because then you might go check for the left and the right stuff hmm no actually you know what nope probably not wall bounce player bounce. everything is fine I think mostly it's it's fine if I if I think of anything else I will add it but yeah that's about it for the collision videos we might make a little mini platformer game using this collision uh, detection and yeah that'll probably be it but thank you so much for all the support. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something in this series. Sorry for going up and down a lot for those of you who feel bad about that. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, just thank you for watching. Check out the code on GitHub. As I said, I made a new project and a new GitHub um, thingy for this. It's called SFML Tutorials VS17. Uh, go check it out there. That's all the new code. So yeah, thank you again. Take care. Check out the description box as always. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.